Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Adding to our food storage, maybe you've added some foods that you don't normally include, such as grits. Grits are a nice change from things like rice and can add variety to your food storage. But what happens if you open your grits and there are little dark specks in there? What is it? Is it normal? Is it bugs? Is it spoiled? What on earth is it? If you look on the package, the ingredients include de-germinated white corn grits. Grain kernels have a germ coating on them. Just like from wheat, we get wheat germ. Well, this is corn germ. It's part of the granulated kernel that is still included into your grits. It's nothing to worry about. It's actually a little bit healthier fiber, and it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with your grits if you see some little dark specks in it. If you want to make sure that you don't get any kind of bugs and weevils in your grits though, you want to make sure that you store it properly. When I bring home grits or other grains from the store, the first thing I do is put it in the freezer for a few days. It'll kill any weevils or bugs that are living in it already. Then I take it out and let it thaw because the first freeze doesn't kill any eggs. So then when you thaw it out again for a few days, if there are any eggs that are going to hatch, you place it back in the freezer that will kill those hatched eggs. Take it out, let it thaw a second time, and it's ready to store for your long-term food storage. Don't store it long-term in a cardboard carton because not only can other bugs get into it, but the carton can be contaminated by anything that is spilled, and it's not keeping the air out and keeping your food fresh. You want to store your food in an airtight container, cool, dark, and dry. I like to store grits in a wide mouth canning jar. It's simple to scoop out the amount that I want and reseal the jar. You can make it last longer by applying the lid, which will help it last several years longer, or you can add an oxygen absorber, which will help it to last many years longer, or use the jar lid attachment for your food saver, which vacuums out all of the extra air. Those are three easy ways to make your food last longer. If you have huge amounts of grits, maybe you want to seal it in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber and store it in a five gallon bucket. I don't think I could use a five gallon bucket worth of grits, but maybe you could, so I choose to store smaller amounts. I hope this video helps you understand what's actually in your grits and how to store them so they'll last longer and that you're adding variety to your long-term food storage. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone who might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.